boy oh boy have we been busy so i've cleared most of that coal other than that little strip over there but yeah i've cleared the entire hole above us and this is what it looks like now as you'll notice my levels say i'm level 31 yay and the only problem there is there is a little bit of cheesing going on and i will show you that but first i'll show you this so this is this hole which is all well and good and if we go down here you'll find the what i'm going to call gravel pit where i've cleared a lot out now what i have been doing is using too much rdx but doing it in a system where I get the wooden blocks, get the RDX, and I will plant the RDX on top of the wooden block. And then what I will do is remove said wooden blocks with the RDX on them, stand well back, and pull the trigger. Now for sure, in its current build, you're going to have problems like this where all this stuff sits on top and reforms. No biggie, it is what it is. Uh, there is a better way to combat that than what I did do here. And that is quite simply put it underneath so you see it sticks underneath it it sticks quite low underneath it but it is sort of connecting to that underside and then what we can do take the stairs out of the way then if we detonate obviously it clears it better from underneath so that's what I've been doing. So if we come back to base, yeah, all that stuff's going to keep sorting eventually. But this is what we've got after quite a lot of exploding from that gravel pit area. So we're just going to go and sell this. Now your levels, your XP are based on value. So the more money you make, the more XP you're going to get, right? Oh, that was pretty handy. So as you see, we've got 17 million sitting in the bank. Now, realistically, money money doesn't really have much to do. I mean, yeah, you buy stuff with it, but what I am looking to buy is at most like 2 million or something. So yeah, so I don't really need 17 mil because it's sitting there wasted. After speaking with Split and Two and Tiger Fang in the Discord, they have said that, hey, you're doing it wrong. Your money is pretty much pointless, but your XP is based on the value of the ore that you sell, and you can buy ore in the store. So if we go and find the most expensive ore, and we add it, we can then buy a quantity of this stuff. And you do need a lot, obviously. You're trying to make up a lot of XP, so you're going to need a lot. And then what you can do is you basically convert your money that you have by buying the ore into XP by selling the ore. Now, obviously, there is a little bit of a, a loss, which would make a lot of sense. We're buying an ore to sell an ore for XP, which would be a bit cheesy if it gave you the exact same money. So it is a cheese. And it is something that I have done. And when I saw how much it worked, I was like, yo, this is it's way better than continuously blasting. Now, obviously, the reason that I continuously blast it is because I need the money to do it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ramp myself up to at least level 37 by doing that, hopefully. And I will catch you guys when we're up there. Woo! There we go. Level 37. So we've spent roughly 5 million even though we have spent more, it's just we've made more back as we've sold stuff as well. But level 37, this is exactly what I wanted. And this is where I wanted to be. What we'll do is we'll get a front end loader. And the idea is we're going to clear this place up because there's all this coal here. I guess there's no better way to do it than to do it. No idea how big this front end loader is going to be. He's me, t &E. He's a lot bigger, or at least he seems a lot bigger. So for a comparison size, he's not ridiculously bigger but i suppose you wouldn't expect that for the next one up but he's he's quite clearly a lot bigger so struggles a bit across the ground even though he's got all that ground clearance next question is how's it going to be with the box oh that's a nice bite and then we pause so that hopefully all the ore sits in beautiful Oh, that's nice. A little bit bouncy. Got to work on that. That's not too much of an issue. We'll get the dozer in. Sort that out. Oh, yeah, the box is ample. And then that can crack on and do what it's got to do. Butte. Absolutely butte. This seemed to get stuck a little bit easier than I was expecting it to for something that's so big and with such ground clearance. But we'll work with it. We'll learn. Maybe. 
It's a bit better, just a little bit better. It may not be perfect, but hopefully it'll be drivable. I won't lie, it is nice to feel like you can actually move a substantial amount of dirt. It really is pretty nice. I think I need another investment. I can think of one more thing that might help us out here. Hopefully this will help us out. Just level all this stuff down a little bit so that the front end loader, the world loader, isn't struggling as much as it seems to. Hopefully this will help. That's better, we've got some turn on him. He's still crabs there, though. Interesting. So it's still not perfect. I don't understand what's going on there that makes him crab. We'll try and make do with what we've got. So I've been a little bit busy in trying something. So the idea is this section over here we're going to sort of remove. We're going to dig out. In parts, if it's mostly dirt, I've started to learn to blast it. But that's what I did to this section here that you can see. This has been blasted and then it's been rolled with the compactor. Which has enabled me to have a reasonably smooth area. There's a little bit of humps and bumps here because we've been going with the front end loader. Then what I did next was like, okay, the best way to get all this stuff out is to sit on top with the excavator. But if I want to get back this way, I need somewhere that I can get the truck in. So that's what I decided to do here. This took a little bit of time. I got the dozer and I started up here and I dozed this way. And pushed all the stuff down here and it was taking time. So what I ended up doing was getting the tunneler and laying a load of conveyors forward and using the tunneler to run across the top. So that got most of it away. Got rid of the conveyors, got rid of the tunneler, swapped to the dozer again. And that is where we are here. This has all been dozed now. So this has been dozed and then we run the compactor over it. And it is a perfect fit. It's a tight fit, but it's a perfect fit for the dump truck. So what that does now mean is I can trundle the dump truck down here. Bit of a tight squeeze, but it will fit. Park him up here sort of thing. Get in the excavator. Go to work with the excavator. And get all of the dirt and or whatever it happens to be around us all dug up and chucked in the back of the truck this must be what it feels like to almost have half an idea of how to do things properly because the way that it works in my head is now i can continue with the excavator i can keep working in this direction which means the truck will be able to sort of park in where we've dug out already and it will be able to be filled up easy in the meantime what i have been doing is using the front end loader so I'll excavate so much and then I'll get that big front end loader and just come in, scoop. But this front end loader has a little bit of a problem trying to navigate the terrain sometimes. It doesn't really like it. It's like its hitboxes are wider than it is. So on occasion, randomly get stuck. It doesn't like going over bumps, I've noticed. It really doesn't enjoy if the terrain isn't really, really sort of flat and smooth. So it is a bit problematic sometimes but i've just been trying to use this just to scoop in get what we can get run away and get out and on occasion i'll get the compactor back in smash it all down nice and smooth and make sure it's all drivable but as most of this is dirt still what i'm going to do is run one more layer of blast just to kind of clean things up a bit so we're going to empty him and then I'll just blast this. Now, how I've been blasting is basically using a stone block, using a stone block and then like every other stone. So we'll take this one out, get rid of these two. So it's like every other. And then what we'll do is get RDX and we'll hopefully, if we look to the bottom, you won't see this, but it's going to place the RDX down on the bottom and it stands off I'll show you so it'll stand off just a little bit so if I place that towards the bottom of that one you see how low it is sometimes it gets a little bit tricky on the bottom then what we'll do is we'll put it on the side as well 
So these ones I can't reach the bottom, so I'll put it on the side of these. Then what we do is step back and let it all go bang. Because it's soil, it should disappear. Any ore is left usually, and the dirt's just gonna pile up, which is why we get the front end loader in. But it kind of clears the top off nicely. So then what we can do is go to the other side and clear the other side if needs be. So we'll see what this will do on these three. Clean it off. So it kind of gets rid of all that soil. Sometimes this stuff disappears as it is doing. That's not mounting up. That's supposed to be what happens when you blast in soil. Uh, it just disappears. And it's nice and easy. It just cleans away. Because ultimately, the only thing that I'm using dirt for is to fill in the hole. So I'm not particularly losing much. I'm not worried if I'm losing much. There's plenty of dirt around. Then we blast. And it will be a nice clean kind of hole, if you like. We'll just take the blocks down. We'll get the front end loader, scoop it all around, make it all relatively tidy. Keep it all nice and smooth. It's nice. So I'm going to crack on working at this, see if we can clear it and see what we can uncover. <laughs> 